Okay, it's 7 o'clock here tonight. Dark, I'm down for the night here. Oh, the Ford was a masking nightmare. But, it had to be done. When you got all these little panels to paint, it's better just strip across the trunk here. I like to have paper next to everything I'm going to paint, not plastic. Got paint the roof. We got all this track all cleaned up real nice. Come out real good. Got our edge feathered back here. There's multiple layers of paint on that. Everything's all blocked out down to 320 on this top. Uh, we did a new seam sealer in our gutters here. The old sealer is all dried and cracked. Feathered back this top edge. <coughs> a couple little spots on the post here, just some pits. Fix those. We've got our hood all blocked out in the 320. Fill the letters across the front here. Kind of see where they were yet. We're going to get some primer on this thing next. So yeah, when you're painting these panels, it makes for a lot of extra taping. I like to have paper right next to the panels. No plastic, so the plastic doesn't blow up on them. Stay down well. Of course, the glass is out, so we had to tape over all these openings. See the uh, seam sealer beside also. It's molding around the uh, roof line here. It had never been off before. So the factory paint underneath. You can see the difference in white. It was more the yellow white originally. And like I said, this little panel on the trunk. I took the four letters off back here too. Welded those holes shut, so I like to paint that panel. I said I'll bring you up to date as we go along on this project. Uh, we're going to white, get some primer on it now and, and block these areas in. Then we'll white base everything on it. And I'll tape off the trunk and the hood. Let me get those ready. We're going to do the roof. We're going to put some effects on the roof. See if I can get this to focus in for you here. A metal flake here. Iridescent. It's got a lot of sparkle to it. Get out the sun, it really picks it up. Put that on over top of the white base. Clear all that in. He wanted something on it, not something real drastic, more of a subtle effect, but something that would catch the eye. So that's what we're going to do on that, on the roof only. So we'll bring you back as we uh, make more progress on it. All right, a little afternoon here today. Today was primer day. So we've got this panel down here primed. About uh, four coats of 2K on that. Everything up here. Pretty heavy down here too. We've got some place we need to sand in on that around the lip. Got all that. So I showed I seam sealed the gutter, so we've got some prime down in on those. The A post. Across the top of the roof there where the molding had laid and caused some imperfections. Catch that. <coughs> Press into the hood here, where we had to do the uh, uh, letter removal. As so you can see, only went back that far, about six inches. Came over on this side. Across the uh, roof, you can see how far back I went there. It's given probably six, seven inches. And again, just enough up here to spray down inside of the uh, gutter track. You can really see it. So we got the air along the bottom edge of the roof down here. Around the uh, window lip. <clears throat> a little imperfection right here, so we shot some primer on that area. Looks like a fact imperfection where the roof is put together. But we caught that, so there we go. Primer's all done. We'll let this sit overnight before I sand. I like to let it sit overnight before we uh, come back to it. So bring it back as we make more progress. Yeah.